Hey everybody, welcome back to the Midnight Paint and Body channel. On this video, we're going to start cleaning up the paint on the Hoopty 78 Trans Am the wrong way. So if you haven't been following this series on this uh, 78 Trans Am 404 speed, go back and check out the other videos. Um, basically what I'm just trying to do with this car, I'm going to get her running and driving reliably, clean it up the best I can, and go from there and decide if I'm going to go farther with body and paint on it. Um, right now I'm waiting for engine parts. We've had the engine running. If you look at the last video, we got a couple little burnouts out of it. Uh, I've ordered a whole whack of tune-up parts and a carb kit and uh, all those goodies for that. But while we're waiting, I thought we would just start kind of cleaning up this paint a little bit. So, like I said in the intro, we're definitely going to do it the wrong way. Um, so what I've got is a box of SOS pads, you know, for scrubbing pots and that kind of stuff. So, I probably shouldn't have to say this, but don't do this on good paint. This is not good paint. This car is so rough and so, you know, the paint's so wasted on it. I just want to clean it up the best we can. Um, if I get all the crap off it, we may run the polish over it later because this old lacquer will always come back with a shine. But yeah, let's start. Let's just start uh, cleaning her up a little bit and see. So these soap pads or steel wool pads are going to take all the all the really heavy oxidation off and kind of smooth out what's left there. Like I said, this is good for, if you're going for uh, patina, rat rod kind of car, but don't ever do this on good paint. See how much of a difference that's made. Just brightened that right up. So I'm going to continue on with that. Look at how much that cleaned up. It's like a different color, just taking that, uh, all that crap off the top. I think we should move on to do half the hood. It does look to me like this car got painted at some point and they masked out the bird, which was pretty common. I've seen that lots on these cars over the years. So it looks like they, uh, for whatever reason, felt it necessary to put primer over top of the original paint. And then probably another coat of paint, and that's all faded away. Just sun-baked right off over the years. Initial plan was to use uh, Comet, do the Comet wash on it. The, uh, that stuff that's also for cleaning pots and pans and so on. I just figured it was actually too, it was too far gone. I figured that that's the West pads would be a better route on this one.
So I'm just going to let her dry up a little bit there and we'll kind of have a look at the difference. So if you look at the hood, well, that was the spot I hit with the polisher and took a bunch of that old paint off. So there's the difference there, just scrubbing her down. Now, obviously this is uh, just something to do on something you don't care about. I'm kind of just going for the, the patina worn look. See, I kind of did half of the trunk lid. The trunk lid's still kind of wet, but I'm going to keep scrubbing away on it and see what we come up with. And here's a question for guys who know more about these cars than I do. I mean, this car has all the Trans Am trim, so it's got the, the Trans Am package. But it's a 78, and it doesn't have the fender flare pieces that would typically be here now if anyone knows let me know if that's uh, if they just got removed or if some of them didn't have it on a certain years or and if anyone has some i'd like to put them on there but uh yeah i'm going to continue on with some scrubbing and we'll see see how she comes up Well, there she is all scrubbed up. I think it's an improvement. We've got many years of grunge just off the outside of the paint. So, like I was saying, do not do that on good paint. Don't go scrubbing down your new Hellcat Challenger with SOS pads. It's a bad idea. If you're working on junk, is it a good idea? I don't know. You tell me. Tell me what you guys think of the whole patina idea. You know, would I like to restore this car? Of course. I'd like it to be beautiful like it was brand new. Realistically, I'm going to get it running driving, stopping, and just go out and drive it and enjoy it exactly like it is. Because I think that'll be fun. And it's all about having fun with your cars and driving them. Some guys like to just rub them with a diaper and look at them. But not me. My stuff gets driven. I can uh, foresee this car doing some crazy gravel road drifting debauchery. And I think that'd be friggin' awesome. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna end this one here. I'm waiting on some parts. When some parts come in, we'll get back to work on it and we'll see if we can get it running real good. And we will go from there. But as always, thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next one.